I love the sleek modern look of stainless steel appliances in the kitchen. That is until they go into the kitchen and they're covered with streaks and fingerprints. Hi, this is Kevin Fritz with Iron Point Mortgage, the borrower's advantage for home loans in Folsom, California. I'm here today with a household tip that you won't want to miss. Stainless steel is the hardest to maintain. Even all the specialized products out there don't seem to work very well and they can be really costly. Well, I found one that does. Let's take a look. Come on. Today's tip for help around the house is how to polish your stainless steel appliances so that they don't become smeared with fingerprints and watermarks in between cleanings. Alright, so the first step is just to give it a nice easy wash with mild soap and water. I'm just using dish soap. Now I'm just drying it off. Basically, I'm just going to get a small amount of coconut oil on a soft cloth and I'm just going to rub it in. And this will help, this will help prevent oxidation and it will protect the finish on the refrigerator. I'm not sure if you can see, I haven't rubbed it in here yet. But I'm just rubbing in coconut oil. And so coconut oil, it's lovely because it's also a uh, antibacterial, but it's going to protect the finish and protect it from oxidizing because it's going to pr provide a barrier between the air and water and the stainless steel. So once you have this worked in, the next time you go to clean your fridge, it's going to be a lot easier. And you can just do this occasionally when you need to do it. Rub it in until you no longer see the coconut oil anywhere streaking on the fridge. You don't need very much at all. I just literally dipped my cloth. But what you'll find now is that it's much slower to get uh, watermarks and fingerprints and they're much easier to remove. Thanks for watching. The main reason I think the coconut oil is a great solution is because of the antibacterial aspects. I've heard furniture polish works really well too, but it doesn't have that extra protection of the coconut oil, which is really important in the kitchen. So that ties into insurance. There's a fairly new insurance product that you really should have on your homeowner's policy that also gives you that extra protection called building ordinance. This additional insurance covers you in case of a partial loss, for example, if you have a small fire in the kitchen that would cause uh, you to have it remodeled, then you would be required to bring your entire home up to code. The most recent change in the building ordinance is sprinkler systems required in new homes. Can you imagine you're insured for one thing and then you've got to get all new in sprinklers in the house? That would be really expensive and to some devastating so that they couldn't even rebuild their house. So when your insurance is only going to pay for your partial loss in your kitchen, what are you going to do? Check it out with your insurance agent. If I can answer any questions or help you with a home loan or refinance while the mortgage rates are still really, really low, give me a call. Again, I'm Kevin Fritz at Iron Point Mortgage your Folsom Mortgage Banker, also serving the whole Sacramento-Roseville area. Remember, I'm always here to help.